Well, Jackets have a variety of different zone defenses that they'll throw at Pitt over the course of the afternoon. Champagny inside gets two. You gotta fall in love with just shooting three pointers. You gotta get into the teeth and be aggressive. Alvarado, exactly as you said, in the basket. Here's DeVoe. Dangerous off the dribble. Finds Usher open for three. Good penetration and set up by DeVoe. James Banks with a huge rejection for Georgia Tech. We welcome those of you who just saw Boston College prevail on the road in Blacksburg. And Michael DeVoe carries another three for Georgia Tech. Eighth place in the ACC. Hamilton free throw jumper. And the stick back up and in for Justin Champagne. Seven plus minutes today. Bubba Parham rejected by Champagne. It's a good defensive play, poked away by Tony. Numbers for Pitt. Johnson to Champagne for two. This is where Pitt wants to get off the field to get some offense. Well, you see where Pitt has definitely missed Ryan Murphy. Gives him that three-point look, and you see nice pass by Usher. A lead mark finishes it for 10. David Johnson pulls up. Things that Pitt has done good about well about this zone is being able to get second chances. Get nice little find to get Champagne. Opportunity to get it down, down low to James Banks. Well, sometimes you got to give your big guy a touch, especially if that's a guy on the back. Baseline jumper for Terrell Brown. Seven or eight, the ACC. DeVoe. Nice move. Nice little hesitation. We're talking about how crafty he is. Five and a half to play in the first half as well. McGowan to Brown. Power dribble. Capel said he finished the game at 20 and 11 in South Bend, and frankly, Capel thought he left a lot of points and rebounds on the table. Terrell Brown has been a huge impact player. Shot clock, count to five. Parham knows it, gives it up. Moses Wright tanks it in. What are the different ways you've seen Pitt try to attack this zone? Well, I think earlier on they struggled with being able to just bail out some shots, but now you see the penetration and the finish by Trey McGowan. Banks and right for Georgia Tech. Nice pass to Banks inside, easy two. Nice penetration by DeVoe being able to get in. number two on David Johnson. Defensive stance, left side of your screen. Jim Penny dials long distance. You know, shoot, that's the one guy out there that can shot him. Get the flexions, get out in transition. Josh Pass, who didn't mention to us his stat. Pittsburgh undefeated under Capel when they hold opponents below 60. Good start for the second half. Uh, second half athletic. Usher really played the right way against Virginia Tech. Inside. Oh, rejected. Banks sends it back. Well, I also thought that, you know, first five minutes, you see who comes out with better energy. You see Tony come out with that, that nice three-point shot. But this year has given Jeff Capel some really good minutes. I thought that, again, who comes out and is very aggressive. You see the big block by Terrell Brown. Shot clock down to seven. McGowan to the corner. Champagne's open. Take defense, you've got to recognize he's a threat. Good recognition, get the ball inside. Champagne has been the offense as a way for Pitt. Made a field goal in more than three and a half minutes. From the short corner on the attack, Usher, double clutch and score. 37 in the nation in threes. Virginia Tech was number nine, and of course, Georgia Tech made twice as many than Virginia Tech. Nice shot there for Michael Buss. Again. Inside, it's Hamilton, scrap it for two. 
opportunity to get to the basket. Nice pass to Champagne. And one. Good offense. Out of bounds. Play. With 20 more. In the right. That's been his spot all day long against the Pittsburgh zone. You try to protect him because, again, playing McGowan. McGowan was going to be aggressive trying to get to the basket. Open three is very good for Bubba Park. Under 12 to play in a four-point game. Again, Georgia Tech opting to go back into that zone. Champagne. Oh, yeah. No pack star. Leading scorer was out for concussion 10. Adis Tony. McGowan, open look. Battle for the board for Banks. Outlet for DeVoe. One on two. Step back three. Why not? From the ball again. Parham in the bench. Backing down Hamilton. Playing with four fouls. Easy two for him. And again, you got. And Penny hasn't touched it yet. Flash in the middle. Now he's got it. Launches. And back. And again, that's the way they Can't just turn him loose that last time, Mike. Holds his right. Releasing him. Allowed him to get that open shot. The answer to tie the game for Michael DeVoe. You keep an eye on him because he's been the guy that's hurt you all afternoon. Trey McGowan. That one is good. To that weak point there, Georgia Tech, you got to recognize who the shot shooters are, and then you got to make sure that you box out. Long two. Nothing but mess for Johnson. Pittsburgh's crowd. Trying to will the Panthers here down the stretch. McGowan for three. Rebound Tony. Sticks it back in. Bollies hit the screen. Xavier Johnson rejected by a flat-footed Moses Wright. He's a little gimpy running down the floor. Here's DeVoe on the attack. Chance for a three-point play. That's the Jackets deficit to three. Oh, great move. McGowan went right around. This year, the Jackets have turned it over at least 20 times. Campbell goes without Alvarado, and there's Champagne putting the game away with a putback. Improvement in January. Looking for ACC win number six. Alvarado carries the three. It's his first three of the game. Looking up high, right stuffs it in, and John Pass will use his final timeout. Jeff Capel's got himself a good one. And Champ Penny. The lead more, tips it back up, and in 12 seconds left. A sensational Saturday for Justin Champagne, and the Pittsburgh Panthers prevail. 73-64.